Hey guys, Gary Dean, detailjuice.com. That's what I do. I am here with a, another installment of the Untold Truth in Detailing. In the past couple of weeks, I have been asked lots and lots of times, which polisher should I buy? Now, this is kind of a touchy subject with me because you guys know that I'm all about efficiency, versatility, and pleasing the customer. Now, my pleasing the customer is taking the customer's expectation, reality, the budget, mixing it all up and making it one outcome based on those three things. There are different types of customers out there that you will encounter. It is the smartest thing that you could do to be able to please any customer that comes your way. However, you should choose to be not only a very versatile detailer and be able to take care of an auto, boat, RV, motorcycle, whatever. I mean, you can choose to focus on auto, autos. There's far more of those uh, out there, but there are far fewer people that can do boats, RVs, and motorcycles really well. So that's an area where if you focused on it, you could probably make some good money. I know I always did. So where I'm going with that is a different type of customers require a different type of, of detailing. My advice to you would to be make, make a decision on what type of detailer you want to be. That's not, I'm not trying to say that you're gonna be the detailer for most people and you can never do a paint correction and make it really awesome. I am the detailer for most people and I do amazing paint correction work for the customer who wants that. The problem is the customer, most of the time, because they are just that, the customer, they are not the professional, they are not the person in the business. They don't understand what it takes, the level of skill and the time it takes to achieve the level of correction that they think in their mind they need. So you have to try to educate them a little bit on how long things take and their expectation of it, not only in the time, but in the budget. So what I'm getting at is, there are polishers on the market that I feel are just a pure and simple waste of money. Just like there are products on the, on the market that are a pure and simple waste of money. Now, obviously, I have a bias towards my products. I would prefer that everyone just stop buying everyone, everybody else's stuff and only buy my stuff. Now, that's, that's obvious. I mean, I'm in business to make money, and I would say that. Of course, the other manufacturers would, would tell you the exact same thing about me and everybody else that are their competitors. So, where I'm at is, when it comes to polishers, I have found that 99% of any and all people who desire polishing on their vehicle are more than happy with a one-step polish with like there are some all-in-ones out there that are decent. I prefer to use my Infinite Finish and then follow that with Juice Boost as a basic standard deal. It takes the same amount of time as any all-in-one does, uh, but at the same time, uh, I get a little bit more cut and a little better finish and true sealant afterwards with that combo. So, 
I can tell you that most, I and mean, if you need to cut more, you do the same process, but you're throwing in uh, two drops of infinite finish and then a drop or two of infinite cut from detailjuice.com and you can cut more and get the same exact uh, process uh, done in the same time uh, with that combo and then throw some juice boost or even upgrade them to vitality shield and that's why there are different options uh, they fulfill different levels of of need want and um, desire so as far as juice boost goes in my line, I throw that in as a basic deal. That's the entry level. But what's crazy is it's better than most people's high end. So when it comes to the polishing, you can get most customers to a, an insane level of happiness and satisfaction, gratification, whatever you want to use for the term with just the Harbor Freight dual action polisher, which is what I use pretty much exclusively. I'll, I'll grab my uh, rotary polisher once in a while, especially when I'm doing boats or whatever. But nine times out of 10, I, I grabbed the Harbor Freight DA and with my infinite cut and infinite finish in, co in conjunction with the buff and shine low pro pads I mean I can get pretty much everything and anything done with with the, that combo with the Harbor Freight DA and it's those really particular customers you know those guys that are online and will believe anything and everything from all these you know manufacturers I mean there's a lot of you detailers that are watching this you're just like I gotta have gotta have this and I gotta have that and I gotta pay I gotta buy six or seven polishers and they've got to be five hundred dollars a piece or I don't know what I'm gonna do and you know I've recommended this uh, Harbor Freight DA for a couple of years now I've been using it exclusively uh, in fact I, I don't um, I don't use anything else other than like I said my Makita 9227C or my DeWalt uh, 849X I think it is um, if I'm, you know, if I need a rotary, um, no, is the answer right now. Shooting the video, uh, I don't know that number is probably another, probably one of you watchers, you're one of my uh, my viewers there, calling me while I'm shooting the video while I'm driving home from Virginia. But uh, leave me a voicemail or send me a text. I'll get back to you. So where I'm at is. I have no issue at all whatsoever pleasing my customers with the Harbor Freight DA. Now, with the Harbor Freight DA, you don't need to you don't need anything but a different smaller backing plate to run a three and a half inch pad or even a uh, three inch pad. Now, Buff and Shine has those four inch pads. I sell them on my website. I generally only use the orange European foam because it cuts awesome and it finishes very well. There are a variety of the four inch pads and you could get those two or, you know, again, go with any company you want. I'm, I'm, I have, I, I use products and equipment and by equipment, I mean the Harbor Freight DA and like the Buff and Shine pads. I use that stuff because it works. I mean, it just works. And now I'll tell you what, if I did not get amazing results with that polisher, there is a 0% chance I would I would ever recommend it to anybody else. Here's the benefit of it. That machine has awesome torque. It works very well on all the flat surfaces, but it also works very well on the contours, which some of those larger throw DAs that are out there on the market, um, they don't work well on the contours. They really only benefit you on flat panels and you know a lot of what you're dealing with is the contours those are some of the more important sections uh some of the tougher sections on the car and those bigger polishers just can't do it then they've got the uh, the micro polishers and the mini polishers and the itty bitty little itty bitty polishers and that's cool too but it takes a certain type of customer to need that kind of equipment for them. 
And unless you're trying to break into that specialty market, which I would highly recommend that you not try to break into that specialty market if you're trying to have job security, have no issue finding work, if you're looking to really make, it's a different random number, awesome, you gotta wait too. Um, I feel like detailing as a business is better, more lucrative, more promising, more uh, stable, if you will, uh, dealing with most customers. Um, I, I find awesome gratification in taking a vehicle that has been semi-neglected and just bringing it back to life. Um, very rarely will you ever find a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Bentley, or any of those high-end cars, a Bugatti. I mean, I've, I've detailed Bugatti Veyrons and you know, all those high-end cars. And, and don't get me wrong, I like doing that stuff. I'm a car guy for sure. Um, I'm not, I'm just, I, I guess the more I learn about the industry, the more I learn about customers and people and, and that kind of thing, the more I get a grip on what is really needed in the industry, I, I, I seem like I'm like falling backwards in the, I'm, I'm coming forward in the evolutionary process, meaning I'm getting better at what I do every day. But I find myself using the same old things I was using in the beginning. You know, the like I said, the cheap polisher, uh, I think 60 bucks or whatever. 60 bucks, and here's the thing. There's pretty much a Harbor Freight anywhere you need there to be one. And the cool part about it, that is, you can buy their extended warranty or whatever. Um, I think I'm on my second one right now, and the first one lasted me over a year, but this one I think I've had over a year, and it's still going strong. But if that thing breaks, you can run to Harbor Freight and buy you another one in the middle of a job. It's that simple. Uh, I'd highly recommend not using the uh, backing plate it comes with or the cheap Chinese pads that they sell in Harbor Freight, they're they're worthless. I, I wouldn't use those. Um, now again, choose your own brand of whatever. I prefer the Buff and Shine backing plate, the Buff and Shine pads, because it works for me. I like the Harbor Freight DA over the Porter Cable. I have a tattoo of a Porter Cable, see if I can show it to you, right here on my arm. Literally a tattoo of a Porter Cable right there. You see that? That's a Porter Cable 7424 XP. Now it's pretty much the same polisher as the Harbor Freight DA. It's the same similar deal. I believe it's an eight millimeter throw. And I got my start on a Porter Cable. I tell you what, I went through three Porter Cables in the time that I've gone through one Harbor Freight DA. I've had the, the, the shaft break on me. I've had the motor fail. I mean, I, I've, I'm not saying, I mean, you know, again, it could have been just, you know, I worked the hell out of that thing, but um, I really beat my Harbor Freight DA up. They hold up to punishment. They work really well. The price is right. You can get them anytime. Um, that's where I'm at. You don't need a super high-end polisher. You don't need a fancy large throw. It, it's all about marketing. If people say, hey, I need, I want this or, or like this, this brainy inventor type that just says, or this engineer says, oh, well, on paper, this will work better. Now, I'm not saying that large throw DAs don't cut faster on flat panels. Uh, I am saying that they don't work on contoured panels as well as the Harbor Freight DA, uh, in, in my experience. Now, your experience, I don't know, maybe you're like a superhero and you can just snap your fingers and, and tell a polisher to do whatever you want. Unfortunately, I live in the real world and that's not how things work. Um, I, you know, you, you really have to, you, you need multiple high-end pieces of equipment to make those their systems work. That's all I'm saying. That's why they have multiple pieces of high-end equipment. And I can tell you this, 
the majority of customers do not care what polisher you're using and they don't care what products you're using for that matter. They don't care if you're with a big name or a small name or whatever. The customers that are readily available, that appreciate a good quality job and are willing to pay for it, they don't care what you use. They don't care if it came from Harbor Freight. They don't care if it came from a department store. They do not care if you bought it online. They don't care where you got it. They don't care what it is. They don't care how you get from start to finish. All they care about is if what they asked you to do is done to their expectation. But if you're like me, and you like pleasing customers, which if you don't, you shouldn't be in business. And in fact, if you're not pleasing customers, you're gonna not be in business long. You'll do a little bit more, a little more than you're expected to do to make them happy and show them value. And that's what most people are about. That's what most people want. They wanna see the value in what you're doing. And I can tell you that it won't matter the price. Price doesn't matter. If you can make a customer see the value in what you're doing, you can charge them whatever you want. I mean, within reason, come on. I'm not saying like you can get them to pay you a thousand dollars to wash their car and like that's it. That doesn't make any sense. My point is you can charge your premium price and still get that money if you're just making them happy, you gotta show them, you have to be able to explain to them what you're doing. They don't know what the process is. They don't understand why it costs more to have you do it. But that's another video. What I'm getting at is, you don't need these fancy, fancy polishers to get work done. Um, you could buy a Harbor Freight DA and a rotary from, from Harbor Freight as well for less than half the price of one of those fancy large throw DAs, period. Those, I, I don't find the same quality in the rotaries from Harbor Freight as I do in like a Makita 9227C. I think you can, or even a DeWalt 849X, I have both of those. Um, I, I think you can acquire those, either one, for about 180 bucks. And they're really awesome. Uh, they really work well. Uh, like I said, really just for boats and RVs and that kind of thing. I mean, you can definitely use it on, on auto paint. They have been using rotaries for years, but um, just keep that in mind, guys. I mean, if you're a guy who just has to have all the stuff that's on the market, if, if you have to have the latest and greatest, do it, do it to it, buy it all, buy it all up. But don't, don't forget to stop by detailjuice.com and uh, spend some money there. But if you're a guy who wants to really make some money and put more money in your pocket and waste less while still getting the same amount of work done and not compromising any quality, follow what I'm showing you guys. Do what I say because it works. I'm always available to help you guys. I make time, may not be right that second when you call, like those other two callers, um, but I will make the time to help you in your detailing endeavors. I wanna see you guys succeed. Obviously, the, the stuff that I'm preaching will help not only the potential person, the, the, the person who potentially wants to uh, detail for money, but also the enthusiast who's trying to get into it and do his own stuff um, or take care of his show car or do whatever. You can learn a lot from what I'm telling you and you can save a lot of money. And if you're the guy who's trying to make money doing the detailing, you're gonna save a lot of money and get the same or better result by what I'm telling you than you will listening to all the BS hype all over the internet. Now again, you can do that if you'd like. I'm just trying to help. Um, I, I do it every day, and I'm you know I, I've you know definitely at the at the top of my game, 
and I do it with fewer products and less equipment, period. I get things done, and I have thousands of happy customers, and that's it. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation if you want to learn about my products, my processes, if you want to talk to other people besides me, because obviously I'll tell you whatever I want. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, but you guys see, you hear my phone just blowing up. I'm in my truck. It's on Bluetooth. I, it, it's ridiculous the, the amount of calls I get every day. I love it. Um, I guess that makes me feel important or whatever. But most of these people that are calling or text messaging me, they're people like you that are watching these videos that actually use the phone number. And I can't help you if you don't use it. So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook. Uh, send us a request. We'll get you in there talking about it. We only talk about me, my products, my processes, nobody else's stuff. Go to their groups for that. Uh, and if I can help you in your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening to me babble. Um, I like it. I appreciate you. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day.